Daphne here from Steam Design Lab with an air-powered rocket project video. In this video, I'll show you how to make two easy air-powered rockets that work with the rocket launchers I covered in part one and two of the series. The first one is made from paper and cardboard, the other from a recycled water bottle and craft foam. I'll start with the paper rocket. To form the body, apply a strip of tape along the long edge of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper with the sticky side up and away from you. Then roll the paper around the half inch PVC pipe. The tube should be fairly snug, but it must also slide easily on the pipe. Press the tape down to secure it. Next, it's time to design the fins. Since the body of the Paper 2 rocket has straight sides, start with a straight line. Then sketch a few different fin shapes. You can use the body as a guide to decide how large to make the fins. I sketched out a few different options with angled and curved edges. I use cardboard from a cereal box for my fins and nose cone. You can also use regular paper or cardstock or foam sheets. Your choice of material and the shape of the parts will determine how light, fast, and durable your rocket will be. Cut out your designs. Select your favorite fin design to use on your first rocket. Use your first fin as a guide to cut out the rest of your fins. Your rocket can have any number of fins. I decide to make mine with three. Start by applying a piece of tape to each fin along the straight edge that will be contacting the body. You will want your rocket to be balanced, so when you attach your fins, Try to place them the same distance from the bottom edge and evenly spaced around the circumference. It's easier to mark the rocket body with a marker first before attaching the fins. The rocket body is so small that it was easy enough to do this by eye without measuring. Once you have your fins in place, go ahead and apply the second piece of tape on the other side of the fins. The last step is to make the nose cone. This starts with a circle. Mine has a radius of about two inches, but you can make this any size. Use a compass to draw the circle. Mark the center, then cut it out. Cut a slit from the edge to the center. Curve the cardboard to form a cone shape. Trim and repeat until you have a cone that you're happy with. You will want to cut the edges to line up without any overlap so that the cone is balanced. Before attaching the nose cone, you'll need to seal the end of the rocket body. I add a piece of tape, then I slide the paper tube onto the PVC pipe. Position it so that the tube is hanging a little more than a quarter of an inch over the edge. Press down your edges to fold it over the end of the pipe. Do this all the way around, then press down your piece of tape. Add a second piece of tape in the other direction to seal the end. Now you can attach the nose cone. There's no neat way to do this with tape, but as long as it's securely on there and centered, it'll work just fine. If you attach the cone with a hot glue gun, the process will be a little faster.
For the water bottle air rocket, you can skip step one because the bottle is the body of the rocket. The fin design for step two is pretty much the same. I'm using one of the cardboard fins I designed earlier, but since the bottle is curved near the mouth, I'm going to need to add a curve to the side of the fin that will be attached to the bottle. Just mark it, then trim and check it until you have a nice fit. Remember, your fin should go near the mouth of the bottle, not on the other end. Now you can use this as a template to cut out the fins. To try out something a little different, I'm using a craft foam sheet to make my fins a nose cone, but the cereal box cardboard would work great for this design too. Because the bottle is a little bigger around than the paper tube rocket, I'm going to measure to try to make sure my fins are evenly spaced. I cut a strip of paper that fits around my bottle, wrap it around at the location I'll be attaching the fins, then trim off the overlap. Now you can just measure the paper and divide that by the number of fins you plan to attach. My strip is about 9 and 3 quarters of an inch long and I'm adding 3 fins. So the spacing is three and one quarter inch. I marked my strip of paper at three and one quarter inch from each end, but you'll need to mark yours based on your measurements. Use a marker to mark the bottle at the end of the strip and then at each location that you marked on the strip of paper. Now all you need to do is line up the fins with your marks, apply a piece of tape, and tape them onto your bottle. You could also use a bead of hot glue to attach your fins. The procedure to make the nose cone is exactly the same as before, except this time I'm making it from craft foam. The circle will be a little larger than the one I drew for the paper rocket because the bottle has a larger diameter. Just like the last time, you'll need to cut out the circle, add a slit to the center, then form the cone and adjust the size until you're happy with it. I would recommend using a low temp hot glue gun to attach the cone to the bottle when you're working with foam. For more information on this project and others, check out our website at steamdesignlab.com.